Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to All the Mod 7 with your buddy here, Super Turtle. Guys, thank you all so much for uh, seeing last episode that I didn't have a lot of people subscribed, and a lot of you subscribed in that. So just thank you so much. That means so much to me. Uh, and it's raining. Oh, that's great. Uh, but that won't rain on our parade today because, ladies and gentlemen, we are getting into Refined Storage. That is right. The chest monster wall is going to be gone, and in its place will be refined storage. So, you might be wondering, hey, how are we going to power it? Hey, how are we going to make everything? Do not worry. Do not worry yourselves. We will get into that this episode, I promise. Oh, I've disappeared. Oh, I'm back. <laughs> that was a little crazy. All right, so... Um Refined storage requires uh, a lot of this processor binding, um, and what we're going to do is work on something to kind of, kind of get this going. Um, now, I'd like to set up some industrial hemp fiber. Uh, I believe I have some here. Okay, and I do have a feeling this episode will probably take a couple days to complete, uh, but do not fear, you guys. Uh, it will only be like 20 minutes for you. And the main reason is because I only have six of the hemp seeds. So that's all we're working with, and that will be just fine here. I believe I've got some bones for some bone, but this is the exact reason why we are uh, moving ahead. And as you can see, I do have some slime already. This was from a slime island. I uh, just pillared up to it, fought some slimes on it, destroyed some slime blocks. Um, and we got ourselves some slime. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead, make a little hemp seed field, and we will get this farty parted. There that you are. All right, guys, so quite a bit of time has actually passed, and we currently have a blood moon going on. Yeah, so there's a lot of hostile mobs kind of everywhere. And if you guys are wondering how I'm jumping up... Oh, dear. Let's, uh... Let me get some phantom membranes. Can we lure them under here? Anyway, um, yeah, a little bit of time has passed. Uh, I raided a roguelike dungeon. I don't think I'm going to put the footage in the video here because it's kind of boring because I kept using the home, like teleport home, stuff like that after I'd like fill up my chest or after I fill up all my inventory. It wasn't, really wasn't that entertaining. It uh, wasn't that difficult for me at all. Uh, we did smelt up quite a lot of materials, so that's cool. But um, we do have everything we are pretty much everything we need for refined swords. So we're going to go ahead and get uh, started and do some of this stuff. So we're going to grab the... Um, we're going to make some of the processors, I believe. Yeah. So we'll make the processors here. Uh, that actually yields a lot more than I originally anticipated. So that is good. We have a lot of the processor binding, which is amazing. Uh, and then now we're going to make... Let's see, where did the... We only have a little bit of these. Okay. We'll split it up. Most will go into... Actually, let's see. We'll take half. Yeah. So we're not going to need a whole lot of the um, the diamond ones. So I'm not going to really prioritize those. I say we'll make 16 of them. Um, and then we'll make like 20 of those. Yeah, that of uh, the gold ones. Yeah, that seems to be pretty simple. I'm just trying to do the math in my head. Sorry about that. So let's go ahead here. We'll make this guy, and then we will get it smelting. Bam, a lamb. That guy does need a little bit more coal. And again, this is the whole reason why that we're doing this. So everything is so much easier to locate. Um, there we go. And then we're going to take the gold. Actually, need some more redstone for the gold ones. Perfect. So now we have the 20 there. And then we will grab the diamonds and the silicone. And we now have the advanced ones. So now we will throw those in there. And cool. So we can keep the remaining amount of diamonds we have, gold, all of that. And if you guys are wondering how I have it lit up around here, I have some feral lights in the ground that are lighting up the area. So it's keeping our place pretty well lit. I freaking love those lights. I'll probably put a few of them. Actually, yeah, I'll put a few of them in here. But that is how we are staying safe. And then the field... Oh, well. So, yeah, once these are done smelting up, we can go ahead and really start like, diving into refined storage. 
Alrighty, so these look to be all completed here, and I believe we have an Enderman in our attic. Um, let us look. Yep, attic seems to be a popular spot! Cool. So we got that guy out of our ear drums. I almost said ear balls. That's kind of funny. There's no such thing. Okay. So here we go. We have the processors created here. And the reason why we wanted to go ahead and make those is because we need to craft some things and those are required. So we're going to need to make a ME controller. He's right behind me, isn't he? Ha! Again, are you in my attic? I'm telling you, this is a popular spot. Okay, now that he's been dealt with, we can go ahead and try to make the control here. This is kind of like the brain or the heart of the entire operation. So we are going to need some more iron. I believe I've got some more somewhere. Yes, there it is. And then we will need a little bit of quartz. Perfect. Okay. And yeah, we're definitely going to set up like a seed or maybe a bee to go ahead and produce this because we are going to need a lot of this quartz enriched iron. Um, but now that we have that, what else do we need for this guy? A machine casing, which is just some stone in the middle. Uh, so we should be able to take some diorite and actually make it useful for something. Once in its life. Fantastic. All right. And then what else do we need? We need some silicon. And I've used all the silicone. Oh, boy. So this is going to be a little tight. We are going to need to find a way to get quartz a lot easier in the future as well because nether quartz ore is a little bit difficult to find in the nether from what I've found. Um, earth charge. Hmm, maybe... No, I won't be able to do that. Um... Okay, diorite, if we use it in the crushing wheels, we do have a chance to make nether quartz. So there's a 25% chance, so maybe that's something we do. Is there a way to automate this? Um, with seeds. Okay, so maybe we could set up some kind of automation for that. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, it seems like it should be pretty simple for us to make. We could also do a quarry bee. Um... And molten quartz on the anisite. Yeah, definitely not going to do that. But the essence, or the, the seeds, are probably our best bet to make diorite. And then we can crush it. Unless, you know, we just use this to make quartz. Which is probably what we should do. But anywho, that should be done there. We can go ahead and make the controller now. Shabing, shabang, balang. We have the controller here. Very cool. So... Yeah, we're going to need to work on getting power to that here pretty soon. Uh, but we do need a grid to be able to go ahead and access the um, the items in there. So we need to make a grid first, which is going to require two of these different types of cores, uh, which is why we have this and this, so that we can go ahead and make those. And that's going to utilize, let's see... No, we don't want that one. We want the one with quartz. Bam. Okay, normal grid. What are we missing? Oh, just this guy. Cool beans. All right, so here's the grid. And then now all we need is a crafting table. And we can make the crafting grid. Bam. Perfect. So we have that. Once it gets power, we'll be able to access all the items in there. Uh, technically, um, but we do need somewhere to put the items, which we're going to need some disk drives and some storage part, our storage disks, storage parts. Um, we might see, uh, hmm, I don't know if we're going to be able to make a lot of the one case. I got it. Yeah, I definitely need to go mining for some more quartz. Um, so we'll just smelt up the rest of these. Is there a different way to make silicone? That's purely through quartz or through a silicone bee, which is a reed bee and a nomad bee, which we're not even close to that because we haven't done anything with bees. So, yeah, that's a little ways off. I don't know, actually, if we're going to take that route. Um, but, yeah, we'll probably just need one of these guys for today. 
And we just need a chest. One more wood. Perf. Oh, bacaby. So here we go. Disc. Um, yep. And so that will hold the 1K. And if we have four, yep, we sure do. Let's grab our redstone. Yeah, we're definitely going to need to go get some more quartz. There's no doubt in my mind. Because with this, we do have the ability to make one of those. Two of those. But we have hit the limit. Um, more redstone. So let's make some 1Ks here. And there we go. So we've got discs in there, and now we all need to work on is power and more quartz, and we will be set. So I'm gonna go mining in the nether. We're gonna get some more quartz, um, and then possibly actually get an enchanting table set up as well, because if you look here, I've got 57 books, and we can do that, and I don't know if you can enchant these, but we definitely need fortune. So I actually think we should do that now. Um, and I've got the obsidian. I've got the diamonds. I've got the books. And uh, we got a pretty good amount of wood. I'm going to use the dark oak logs. They're, they're pretty simple for me to, to get at this point. Um, so yeah, we'll do one here. Oh. Okay, there we go. Getting lots of advancements here, which is nice. Alrighty, and I think we'll put this up on the second floor, just because we can. Hmm, maybe should have done it on this side. Anyway. It's going to look a little wonky, but it does... Yeah, we can't. We can't enchant that. Let us... I'll just make a, a diamond pickaxe. Um, that Hopefully, we'll get some fortune on it. And, oh, I need some sticks. All right. Let's get some... Let's see if we can get some fortune. Um, efficiency three, fortune one... Just efficiency three. Okay. Hmm. So not able to get fortune just yet. Um, but with mining all the quartz, I'll probably be able to enchant another pickaxe. So we'll be good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera and we'll be back later. Alrighty. So we got quite a bit more silicone here, which means once I find my redstone, uh, we should pretty much be able to... Uh, build a couple more of these 1Ks. So let's see, what are we missing here? Oh, we're missing the glass and the quartz enriched iron. Perfect. Okay. So let's make a couple 1Ks here. That should be good. Okay, and let's turn them into 4Ks. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Can we actually turn it into a 16K? <gasps> we can. Let's do it. Um, 256k, do we have that? Yeah, our fluid storage, okay. So 64k, I believe, is our max. There are mods that allow that to go higher, but that's currently what we've got. So 16k, very good. Um, let's see. Can I pull these out? What do we do with these? Ah, we can't. That's a bummer. We could make another 4k, uh, but that's, that's okay. Uh, we should have some more silicone here, which is the limit. So we can go ahead and make some more 1ks here. So there we go. And let's see. How much more do we need? We need one more silicone. Perfect. All right. And so there's two 4ks. Bam. Love to see it. Now we are out of the basic processor. So we are going to stop there with this lineup here, which is perfectly okay. We are going to need to make some more quartz enriched iron. No problemo. Okay. So let us see here. Do, do, do. Here's for the 4Ks. 
And then for the 16K, bam a -lam. Okay. So there we go. The 1K, 16K, and two 4K. So now we have 26,000 uh, items I think we can store in there. So now all we got to do is worry about power, and then we just take all of this and condense it into here. So, yeah, let's work on some power. That's our next step. Alrighty, so I do believe that Mechanism has some pretty good options for us to use here. However, we do need to start producing power before we can get to the wind generator, which is uh, passive power. So we're going to be making the heat generator here. And I believe if we hit Shift and N, it says a generator that uses the heat of lava or other burnable resources to produce energy. And that sounds right up our wheelhouse for what we need. So super duper simple, just needs a little bit of osmium. Um, let's see here. Actually, I don't even need to have that there anymore. We just need some copper, which all of it should be here. Okay, two, oh yeah, there's my copper. Um, copper, yep, we need a furnace. I believe you can make a furnace with cobbled deep slate. Yes, you can, perfect. That's a great recipe. Um, so let's see, what do we need for this guy? Uh, we need three iron. Got two here. All right, so we got all the stuff we need here. Let's go ahead and make some of these generators. And, oh, I need a couple more pieces of copper. Oh, not that one, this one here. Okay, so we have two of these guys, which should allow us to do this. And then, yep, as soon as we put something in there that can burn, you should be off to the races here. Bam. I feel like that went really quick. Oh. 9 FE per tick. Um, how much will this give us? <laughs> okay, so we definitely need to make uh, a windmill should definitely be our like top priority right now So we're gonna be focusing on that which means we are gonna be doing a little bit in mechanism Today, which is awesome because mechanism is easily one of my favorite mods of all time. So uh, Yeah, we definitely need to pick this guy up here um, And then we're just gonna temporarily place it here. Yeah, it's kind of empty um, That we, we basically wasted that fuel, which is, that's okay. We can get some more fuel eventually. Um, we need some, cause we need to build some stuff. Okay, we got, we got some wood over here. We'll just throw these in real quick. Those will turn into power. And then we can start powering the machines that we need, okay. So in order to make a windmill, we have the osmium. We need an infused alloy. Um, and then we need the energy tablets and a basic control thingamabobber. So we need to make a metallurgic infuser, which is osmium and two, I believe we can actually make one of these. Oh, we're missing the redstone. So yeah, mechanism does require lots of redstone. I hope I have some left. I've got a decent amount, perfect, okay. So metallurgic infuser. We will put this guy right here. Should have power, beautiful. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these. We'll put them here. Okay, so now, just need one of those. That's gonna use a lot of power. Okay, we got the one that we needed. Perfect. Let's see here, does this hold the low? It does not. We lost all of that lava. Okay, no worries. This is a fluid hopper um, that we are going to be utilizing to put some lava in here. Oh, that worked. Is that gonna work? Let's try a different side.
Hmm. Oh, that works. Perfect. So we don't even need that. So we wasted all that lava for nothing. Okay. So yeah, that's going to give us a lot of lava, which will get us a decent amount of power. So you just need, I think, oh, I don't know how many of those we need. Oh, we needed a couple more. I think we need five. Yeah, because we need two of these. This requires six gold. Do we have that much gold left? We do. And we even have a little bit more. All right, so that should be enough here. Um, yep, I believe we have everything we need. Let's make one of these, two of these, and then we should be able to make a windmill. Beautiful. All right, it's dark. All right, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and put the windmill here, maybe. Is that going to work? Why are you not moving? Do you need to be in a different spot? Um. Okay, maybe we're putting it in the wrong direction. If I do this, nope. If I do this, yes. So we're generating... Power... Output, 384 per tick. I think it's generating 52 FE per tick. Uh, which is good. Uh, that That's really good. Let's see, can we move it one block closer? No. Okay, so I think it's too close to the building, uh, which is what's causing the issue here. And I do plan to put some more over here. Um, is that any better? 52. Okay. So, hmm. What if we put it over here? Let that work. 52. That's a little better. It's kind of secluded. I like it. We're going to run some wire. Um, so we do need to use a little bit more of the mechanism stuff. We need to get some mechanism cable. Um, so let's see here. So mechanism, mechanism, uh, basic universal cable, this stuff right here, which is just steel. Ooh. Okay. Um, let's do it out of, uh, copper and what else? So we need coal. We need coal. I need to go looking for some coal. All right, a little bit of coal required. Let's see what we need to make a copper hammer. Oh, so we don't need to break down the copper. As you can see, I've got plenty of copper to go around. Beautiful. There we go, bam, bam, copper hammer. And then was it dust? Okay, so it needs to be iron dust. Okay, iron dust, and then shebang, bam. Okay, we got steel dust, and got nothing left to smelt it because we've used all of the goods. So we'll put in some oak logs here to be smelted up. A little crazy. Might need to make some charcoal or get a charcoal system going. Um, that might not be the worst idea in the world. So yeah, we'll have, we'll have that smelting up, but now we got some steel. Alright, there we go. Steel ingots have been smelted here, so what we need to do is we go shebang and then some redstone now we have 16 cables so all we got to do now is just run those cables from the outside to the inside oh, and we'll be good so over here it's just great that this is passive power that we don't have to worry about so we run it there and then we will run it um We'll run it down one and then in. 
Yeah. I'll put that there. This looks a little garbage. I might just run it through the bottom eventually. After we get everything moved over, I can really make it look a lot better. But until then, we got to just kind of wait a second. Um, this might be a little silly. Oh, we don't have much stuff in here. Okay. So what I can do is just kind of get rid of all of this. Oh, I need that. And then we might, I might just make some more steel. I think I need to make some more steel. All right, so we got a little bit more steel here to go ahead and make just a few more cables to make our life a little bit easier. And I think that's totally worth it. So we're gonna break this guy now. Yep, and oh, and there shouldn't be anything in there. And now we should be getting power all the way over to here bam and now this guy's online we can put items in oh yes this is gonna be sweet all right now i'm about to do something really really dumb okay not too dumb and so then we just do this i'm telling you it's working good more stuff over here <laughs> that's it it's all moved over how much do we have look at that 16,000 items of 26,000 so if we do a couple more 16 K's in here we'll be solid okay so now we need to go at tinker so I can get my pickaxe back we can get our sword which we do need to desperately upgrade here shortly uh, and then we also need some food. What do we have for food that's decent? Got some baked potatoes. Perfect. I got these from a dungeon. Okay, so we need to do this. There we go. And now we break this one. And I'm going to break it until here. And then we'll vein mine this guy. Beautiful. Then we break this. Then we break this guy. And then we break this guy. Cool. So we take this guy, we put it right here, put this guy right above, we put this guy right here, and then we put the discs in, and bam, all of our items have now been moved to right there, which is crazy. Look at that. Oh my goodness. So I'll just put these furnaces here, and can we actually upgrade these furnaces at all? Like, are there iron furnaces in this pack? <gasps> there are, so we can make these even better, I think. I think we might do this. Let's see, can you do it just by simply doing this? <gasps> you can. Perfect. So now we have iron furnaces there. We do need some glass panes here and here, so that's no pain. All right, and then we'll grab some tiles and we will finish this off and so it doesn't look so crazy anymore <laughs> okay and then all we need now is some dark oak here we go perfect boom 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 and then we just need a simple axe to go bing bing bong and it is completed, ladies and gentlemen. That is so awesome. One thing I want to do real quick is I want to get one more of these disk drives here. I believe we had it there already. Um, we are out of quartz, though. What can we do with this block of quartz? Can we possibly turn this back into regular quartz with earth charge Is there any other way with like a cool hammer no we can smelt it into smooth quartz 
and that's about it okay so i do need to again mine some more quartz in the nether but that is okay i'll probably put this another one over here possibly a few more up in the top here just to make things look a bit even um but yeah ladies and gentlemen we have now refined storage crafting automate like 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 awesomeness we don't even we don't need these guys anymore we can just put normal floor here and you know just like really make it look good and not tear up the ground <laughs> oh my goodness i'm so excited i hope you guys are too let me fix the ground real quick nah, that'll, that'll work beautiful all right well ladies and gentlemen thank you all for watching you guys are amazing i'll see you all next episode take care peace out Bye bye